Hi, welcome back to the next challenge. So now we need to um, do this, we need to get the score to go back up um, uh, once every second. So obviously we don't want to be able to have this press space here, we want to just see the score go up every second. Now um, you might be in trouble right now because your score is already some other value other than zero. So um, as I mentioned before, you can drag something onto the side and just click on it and it, and it does this action, this action alone. So if I drag the set score to zero on and click it, you'll see score goes to zero. Now, um, what I'm going to do is, we know we need this block, but we're going to put this one away. Um, and the way you put them away is just down to this area here. And we're going to go back to events and we're going to use this when the flag is clicked. Um, now, the, the, con the uh, concept that we're working on in programming here is looping. Um, so we've done variables and now we're going to look at loops. Um, loops are under the control um, block so what we can see here is we can see different types of loops. We can see one that's a repeat, another one that's a forever. The ifs are conditions and we're going to use those later and we've got a repeat until something. Um, now these are quite handy. Um, obviously if you're going to play a game you don't want it to stop after it's gone through all of the blocks. You want it to be able to repeat certain sections of it whenever you want. So I'm going to drag this forever in here and I'm going to put this inside. If I was to click this green flag now, you'll see that the score goes up so quickly I can't even see it. So I'm going to stop that. You see it's gone up to 2 billion already, so I'm going to set score back to zero again. And I'm going to add in a wait section, a wait command as well. So um, underneath control you'll find the wait command. So the wait one second can go just above or below this change, it doesn't really matter. So when you run this code, you click the green flag and then it enters a forever loop and it waits one second then changes the score by one and then just keeps going and repeats this round and round and round and round and round and just to test it we'll hit the green flag there and you'll see that every second the score goes up. Nice and simple, that's the whole of challenge number two.